Can you hear me now? No? All right. I'm up. How about now? No? All right, here, how's it going, everybody? We got a little technical difficulty. We're sorry we're coming a little late. No? How about now? 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 Can you hear me now? How about now? We got you people. Yeah, we do. All right, some technical difficulties here from Clark Athletic Center. Sorry we're on a little late, but we got you. Volleyball on tap on a Friday evening as the Wellesley Blue come into Boston to face UMass Boston Beacons. My name is Alex Barth. Thank you for joining us on Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. The Beacons have won a couple in a row, looking to extend that streak. They come into this one at 7 and 10, uh, 3 and 0 in the Little East Conference. Wellesley comes in 11 and 3 and 7 and 0 out of the New Mac Conference, one of the top teams in the region. A tough task ahead for the Beacons. They look to pick up the win. They will look to junior setter Christina Elliott tonight. She is our player to watch. Elliott. A junior from Camrose, Washington, is ninth in program history in assists. Trying to get that assist per set number up to five this uh, this season. Chance to do that tonight. She has a very good game. We'll see what she can do in this one. The all-time series between these two schools has been pretty one-sided. Wellesley, the visitor, has dominated nine to three, including a win last season. Tuya Murphy was the top performer in, for the Beacons in that game. She has since graduated. The numbers on the year for uh, both teams. We talked about it last time with uh, Seth, the blocks per set. The blocks are huge for UMass Boston with the size and the athleticism they have up front. Now, Wellesley can match that a lot better than UMass Dartmouth could. So it's going to be a battle up front between the front three for each side in this one. We're going to have to keep our eye on that as the evening goes on. The specific leaders for each team, and we'll look at the blocks once again. And Sarah Doyle, the 6'2 sophomore from Glendale, California, she had a dominant match on, what was it, Tuesday night? Yes, Tuesday night against UMass Dartmouth. They will need her again in this one. Uh, the Beacons will, if they want to pick up the win, Lori Gedney is the leading attacker for the Wellesley Blue, a freshman out of Huntsville, North Carolina. So overall, a young team for Wellesley, but they're going to rely on some freshmen tonight. The Beacons can use the experience to their advantage. Although the one place where Wellesley has more experience than just about anybody in the country is, uh, as, is at the coaching position. Dorothy Webb out of Pacific. It is her 25th year at the helm of Wellesley, a career record of 578-22. Just doesn't lose that often. 16 20 plus win seasons an established veteran of the region of the sport she definitely adds something to the squad on the other side michael houlihan in his fifth season at the helm of the beacons his first as the lone head coach trying to put on a run here see if he can get to his 100th career win at some point this season he is nine away let's now take a look at the starting lineups and we will start with the wellesley blue we talked about it being a young team for the opponents Michelle Lee, a junior, Samantha Hong, a junior, and then after that, uh, you got a lot of underclassmen. Gedney, again, is going to be their main focus point. She is a freshman. Just 14 career games under her belt. And now we'll let them introduce themselves to the starting lineup for the Beacons. 
Hi, I'm Alex Gibbs, a senior hitter, and I'm from Barracks Ranch, Texas. I'm Rachel Maslach, and I'm a junior setter from Berlin Center, Ohio. Hi, I'm Amelia Chepievska. I'm a sophomore outside hitter from St. Paul, Minnesota. Hi, I'm Eileen Chi. I'm a junior outside hitter from San Francisco, California. Hi, I'm Ariana Kassengol, and I'm a sophomore middle from Melbourne, Florida. I'm Michaela Kiyanko. I'm a senior barrel from Clearwater, Florida. Hi, I'm Sarah Doyle, a sophomore middle hitter from Glendale, California. Right, welcome back here as we get ready to get underway from the Clark Athletic Center. About a minute and a half to go until the uh, opening serve. Again, the Beacons come in at 70 and 10, 3 and 0 in the Little East, and they are up there with Keene State, the final two undefeated teams in the Little East Conference. The difference. UMass Boston 3 and 0, 7 and 10 overall. Keene State is 2 and 0, but they are 16 and 2 on the season. They have been one of the best teams in the nation this year. Kind of surprising, they were picked fifth in the preseason polls. UMass Boston was picked first in the Little East, and that will be the final home conference matchup of the year for UMass Boston. They will have Eastern Connecticut and Southern Maine after that. But October 18th will be the big matchup that could ultimately decide the regular season conference champion in the Little East. We get ready to start. The teams are lining up. Uh, we'll throw it down to the floor for the starting lineups and the national anthem.
All right, National Anthem underway. We are ready to get started. Here from the Clark Athletic Center, the Beacons will start off on the left side of your screen there in their black jerseys. Wellesley is on the right of your screen in the blue jerseys. Contrary to what we saw on Tuesday when it was the Beacons in the blue. That's actually Wellesley's mascot is the blue. Michaela Kianko is the libero. She is in the sky blue jersey on your left. Molly Likes in the gray jersey on your right. Wellesley will have the first serve. Alina Mata, a senior from Glendora, California, will get us started. Mata's overhand serve. At the net, a quick point for Wellesley. Looking to answer, Eileen She Tapped over, She again, battling at the net. Diving, keeping it alive. But not long enough for Wellesley. It was played under the net. And a point for the Beacons. Today's officials are Brian Nobega, Carol Burke, and Jake Sch Schaffer. Wellesley plays it into the net, keeps it alive, into the net again, and straight back down off the attack from Molly Likes. Two to one, Beacons. Maslack will serve. Over the shoulder, Kianko. She. And another point for the Beacons. Lauren Gedney tried to get there, but did not have enough room heading to the floor. She deflected it into the stands. Off the net and the Beacons with the three to one lead. Up early on Wellesley. In their match against UMass Dartmouth on Tuesday, they trailed early in all three sets, despite winning three sets to none. Over the net from Gedney. That return goes out of bounds. And the Beacons go up four to one. Maslach serve. Jensen sends it over. Keying it up in the middle, Maslak. Yasmin Reese with the attack for the Beacons. Elaine she Eileen She the other way. Block down in front, kept alive. Quick return off the block. And Eileen She capitalizes on the far side. Six to one Beacons. Off of Maslach's serve. Blocked at the net, diving attempt. Sends the ball further out of bounds. That was off Maslach. And the 6-0 runs for the Beacons is halted as Wellesley will make substitution. Megan Shoup comes into the game. Sophomore from Cypress, California. And Shoop's serve is a good one. Trying to set up She in front of the net. And a whiff, or oh, pardon me, that was Ariana Kassengoff. She 
Shoot second serve. Blocked down at the net. Looks like it was Reese who got the hand on it. A couple players were there. And just like that, three unanswered points for the blue. Played over the shoulder. She taps it over. On the near side. Touched over. Defense gets there. The slam into the net and down. Kianko couldn't get enough on it. The serve from Wellesley looking to tie things up after trailing 6-1. to one. Setting up on the near side, the slam from Lauren Gedney is deflected at the net, but it falls out of bounds. We are at six all after the Beacons led six to one. That serve goes long, and the Beacons, after allowing a 5-0 run, get one back. Eileen, she will serve for the Beacons. They set it up for Reese. She gets it over. Beacons trying to respond. Reese plays it up. Wants it back. Instead, they come to the near side. And it is the freshman, Lauren Gedney, picks up the kill. All tied at seven. Reese's serve. Just nudged over the net. The setup and unable to get under it. Eileen Shee. 8 7 Wellesley. And the Beacons on the wrong end of a 7 to 1 run call a timeout. We will take a quick break. Be right back in the first set. It's Wellesley 8. Beacon 7 on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. Back out of the timeout. And like I mentioned, going into the break, the Beacons find themselves on the wrong side of a 7-1 to one run. They led as much as 6-1. to one. Now trail 8-7 to seven with Wellesley serving, and Yasmin Reese puts it over the net to get things started after the break. Was it tipped at the net? It was not. That attack goes long. A point for Wellesley, who now lead nine to seven. Reese. I think they're gonna say somebody hit the net. All right, double touch on Wellesley, so a point for UMass Boston makes it nine to eight. Michaela Kianko will serve. It was tipped at the net. Another point for Wellesley, who now leads 10 to 8. Sarina Pastupaka checks in for the blue.
She with the first touch. She's going to attack back. Postupaka picks up the kill. 11 to 8. Wellesley leads by three, their largest so far early here in the match for a set. Setting it up, blocked back, and it falls out of bounds. Point Beacons. As Christina Elliott checks in, she was our player to watch. And part of that reason was her ability at the service line. We'll see how she does here, her first serve of the evening. 11-9. Wellesley on top. He's in a little volley going here. Hooked over at the net. She with the first touch. The setup from Elliott. That one goes long. Wellesley wins the hard contested point. They go up four. 12 to nine. And a couple of substitutions made by the blue. Looks like that's Ashley Peng getting ready to serve for Wellesley, number 18. She had that ball rush up on her. Sends it back the other way, long. Beacons maybe coming out a little too fired up. They've sent a couple of attacks over the back line. They trail 13 to nine here in the first set. She on the attack. Keeps this one in. It's played by Wellesley. Another point for the blue after that one was tipped at the net. It altered the path of the ball. Nobody could pick it up. Paz Dupaca had the final hit for the blue. That one goes out of bounds before it crosses the net. So the Beacons get back on the right side of things. Trailing 14 to 10. Little miscommunication as to who's going to play that first. Wellesley is able to get it over. Misplayed by Michelle Lee. All caught up to her real quick. And a serve coming for the Beacons now down three. Alex Gibbs serve goes long. And an ace on the other side. Samantha Hong will serve again. This time it's played by the Beacons. A runner at the net. Wesley coming back the other way. Played up by Kianko. That's going to be too many touches on Wellesley. So the Beacons get back within 4, 16 to 12. Sarah Doyle, whose sister actually sung the National Anthem before the game, will make the serve. Finding a dead spot in the floor is Darina Postupaka. Puts Wellesley up 17-12 here in the first set. Alina Mata will serve for Wellesley. She had the first serve of the game. Did that one stay in? It did. Point Beacons. Rachel Maslach checks into the game for UMass Boston. A 
Nice attack from Reese. The Beacons handle it. Eileen Shee coming the other way. Couple of chances thwarted. Good defensive sequence for each team. Poked over the net. High pop-up. They fake the setup. Go over the net with it. Beacons figure it out. Maslak blocked at the net. Played over by Gibbs. And Gibbs picks up the point for UMass. Boston gets them back within three. 17-14. Maslach will serve. Slammed down by Jensen. Nikki Jensen, a freshman from Castro Valley, California. Five freshmen on this roster for Wellesley. They'll all play uh, considerable minutes. Megan Shoup serves. Kianko played it backwards. Beacons get it forward and up over the net. Did it get the line? Nope. Point UMass Boston. And now Eileen She will serve down three, 18-15. All right, no, she will not. She will sub out. Replacing her is Sydney Birch, the sophomore. So Birch will serve in she's place. Tipped at the net by Reese. Diving attempt from Mata was late. Beacons get back within two, 18-16. Wellesley gets it back. Going to serve here a chance of over 20 for the first time in the afternoon. Reese spins the ball in her palm and gets it away. Maslak towards the back line. She could not keep it in. And a timeout will be called by the Beacons. Their second, 2016 Wellesley leads here late in the first set. My name is Alex Barth. You're watching the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. People at UMass Boston, they're here because they know they can have an impact, not just on research, but on people, on their students. This is just a starting point. It only has potential to grow, and it has a big potential to grow up. You're really having a direct impact on people's lives, and you can see that now, and you can see that years from now. So I think it's becoming like the place that people want to go. What UMass Boston is able to offer to its young people it certainly stands up to that mission that was set right out in the beginning. It's something UMass Boston should be and can be very proud about. All right, back out of the timeout with the Beacons trailing 22-16. Remember, they were up 6-1 to one at one point. So a 19-10 run for Wellesley. Try to avoid doing the math in my head for as long as possible. Anyway, Wellesley serving Yasmin Reese. We'll get it away. Maslak is deflected at the net. Played over by Gedney. She's been relatively quiet so far. Average is about four kills per set. Beacons will pick this point up. Go back down 320 to 17. Serve coming for Michaela Kianko. Senior from Clearwater, Florida. Oh, a vicious attack from Gedney. Showing her prowess right there. Puts Wesley up 21 to 17. Go. 
to serve. Running towards the net, mistimed as they were trying to set up. It looks like that was Alex Gibbs on the far side of the court. 22 to 17, Wellesley. See if the uh, Beacons get aggressive here late in set number one. With Wellesley three points away. Slam towards the back line, running to keep it up. She does. That was Hong. Got to get it over, and Wellesley surprised an impressive survives an impressive volley, but the Beacons get them the next time through. 22 to 18. Shepievska checks out, and Christina Elliott comes back in as Wellesley uses a timeout of 22 to 18 in the first set. We'll be back after this. UMass Boston was my first choice because when I came to the campus, I saw that there was a lot of diversity. There's a lot of people um, here. There's a lot of international students, so it's really cool to meet people from different countries, different parts of the world. I'm Julia Murphy. I'm from Canton, Massachusetts. I'm Olivia Murphy. I'm from Canton, Massachusetts. We're sisters. We're sisters. <laughs> I play volleyball and she plays basketball. Here they have a freshman success community. So each major has their own community that you can join as a freshman and you take classes with them, you do study groups with them. So it was really helpful getting to know people in your major right away. So in health exercise sciences, we have an internship at the end or it's so much better to have like an advisor helping you out, like telling you which classes to choose. Third time out of the set here. Wellesley takes their first after the Beacons had used two. Dorothy Webb wants to make sure her squad can finish this off without any issues. Up 22 to 18. Christina Elliott ready to serve for UMass Boston. Elliott's first serve is long. I don't know if Pastupaka missed it or realized it was going to be long and pulled away at the last second. But a 23rd point for the Beacons comes on a service error. Or pardon me, 23rd point for the Blue comes on a service error from the Beacons. Yeah, and now they are a point away from set point. Gibbs challenged at the net, rolling towards the bench. Coaches have to get out of the way. Sliding attempt to try to keep it in play from Samantha Hong is no go as a couple of players hit the ground over there in front of the Wellesley bench. At a certain point, you got to make sure you take care of yourself and understand the situation. Live to see another set. As Hong went into the chairs, played awkwardly off the hands of Ashley Pang, the junior. That's a couple of unanswered points for the Beacons. They're back down 3.23 to 20. The serve from Gibbs is into the net. Control back to Wellesley. And this will be set point. They bring Yasmin Reese back in here going for the set. And it's served into the net. Samantha Hong couldn't get it over. More life for the Beacons here in the first set. Trailing 24-21. The attack kept alive. She blocked at the net. Goes out of bounds untouched. Beacons get back within two. It is win by two, of course, so the Beacons can't really extend this here with two more points. As Wellesley will use their second timeout, all four timeouts have been taken so far in this set. We'll be back with the finale of set number one here on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. What separates UMass Boston from other schools is the fact that a large percentage of students commute. 
for me, it takes two hours each day to go to and from school. But every second has been worth it because the students that come here are serious about learning, they value their education, and understand where it'll take them in the future. This is what UMass Boston means to me. Out of the timeout and back, Alex Barth on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. We thank you for joining us. On a Friday night, getting your weekend started here with UMass Boston Athletics. As they are clinging to life in the first set, down 24 to 22. There's the serve. Diving dig to keep alive, it goes down 24 to 23. If the Beacons can get another point, they will force a win by two situation. Yeah, we're down by five or six of points in this set. No more timeouts left either side. There's the serve. It goes long. So the Beacons claw their way back, but they have it slipped through their fingers at the end. One set in the books with Wellesley taking it. The teams will switch sides. We'll be back after this here on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. I'm a Division III student athlete, and I know how powerful words can be. The term gay doesn't mean stupid, lame, or less than. So I pledge to speak up if I hear the term gay used in a derogatory way or any other homophobic terms. If you can play, you can play in Division III. I'm a Division III student athlete, and my teammates unconditionally accepted me as part of their family. So now I pledge to do the same for others. If you can play, you can play in Division Three. So one set in the book, Wellesley takes, uh, although it got close at the end, 25-23 in favor of the blue. Well, we have a chance here, we take a look at what else is going on in UMass Boston Athletics tonight, I think, perhaps. All right, we'll have that for you. We'll try to get that up for you here in a second. Uh, there it is. All right. Women's tennis. This is upcoming this weekend. Women's tennis will host Rhode Island College on Saturday. Women's soccer, they're on the road. They head up to the great state of Maine. Not too far up there, southern Maine. Tomorrow for 1 o'clock start. Men's soccer will be here again, southern Maine. Of course, you can catch that on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. For more information, visit Beacon at beaconsathletics.com. Also follow us on Twitter at UMass Beacons, uh, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook as well. Some notable statistics from that first set. Michelle Lee had a game high 11 assists. Eileen She and Lauren Gedney, surprise, surprise, were tied with five kills. That's a game high. No blocks for either team there in the first set. Hit percentage for the Beacons was at 257. Wellesley, a couple points higher at 278. As we get ready for the second set, the teams will switch sides. So the Beacons will be to the right of your screen. The blue will be to the left. Beacons are in the black uniforms. Wellesley in the blue uniforms with black shorts. And if you're just joining us, welcome to the Beacon Broadcast Network. Thanks for tuning in on this Friday night. My name's Alex Barth. If you missed the first set, it's a close one. Had the Beacons coming back a couple of times, but never quite getting to the point where they needed to be as they fall 25 to 23. And UMass Boston retakes the floor. Wellesley coming out here. A little bit later, dancing, showing off their moves. This is uh, Let's Get It Started by the Black Eyed Peas playing over the PA. That song, memory serves me correct, came out 14 years ago. And that song still gets a lot of playtime. It feels very recent. That is a long time ago. I just made a lot of people feel old. They're kids in high school, I think. 14, maybe? Who that song is older than? I think. May I don't know. I'm getting weird looks up here. Anyway, this is why the game needs to start, because otherwise I just ramble. 
Getting ready to get underway again. And the first serve will belong to the Beacon. Second set, Wellesley took the first. But it was close, and the Beacons had some momentum there at the end before a service error. Maslack will look to keep it going here on the other side of the break. Wellesley come back the other way, blocked down at the net. Deflected in the first point, goes to the visitor. A quick substitution for the blue. So Megan Shoup checks in. And Shoup will serve. Make some small bounces to get ready. Serves with the right hand. Lofted over with the left of Eileen Shi. Digs it, saved it off the floor, but it goes out of bounds. Point Wellesley. That was Michaela Kianko with the effort. Shoop to serve again, leading 2 nothing. Kianko, the setup near side, the slam, and the Beacons get on the board. Shepievska, Emilia Shepievska with the first point. Eileen, she will serve, trying to even this thing up at two. And she serves it into the net. Yasmin Reese will now serve for Wellesley. She's been doing that ball spin to get ready. Can't tell if it's on a finger or on her palm. At the net. Blocked and out of bounds. Point for Alex Gibbs and the Beacons. They now trail three to two. It's been back and forth throughout this one. Kianko serve, diving dig. Second one, and that's gonna be four touches if they get to it. Wells didn't have much of a chance there. That makes it Three to three. Wellesley answers back, Lauren Gedney. Michelle Lee will serve. Nobody can get to it. The soft touch. He can stay within one to four to three. And Christine Elliott will come in to serve for the Beacons. Elliott serve. She unable to handle it. Wellesley gets back up again, five to four. Another substitution, a lot of substitutions here in the second set. It's like that's number nine, Nikki Jensen checking into the game. Becca Aristotelidis will serve. That one stayed in bounds, Beacons tie it back up at five. Alex Gibbs, the senior from Texas with the serve. It's a good one. Going for the back corner. Gibbs keeps it alive. Up towards the Beacons bench, but well in play. Eileen, she sends it over. We get a double touch on Wellesley. And the Beacons take their first lead of the set, 6-5. to five, Their first time leading since a 6-5 to five lead. In the first set, that was at one point a 6-1 to one advantage. That goes long, and the Beacons go up by two. Gibbs' serve. 
That one did not get across the net. The officials a little delayed with the call to check with one another. So we're at 7-5 beacons here early in the second set to serve from Hong. She. That ball difficult to play. Over the net, over the shoulder, it hits the scoreboard. And the Beacons go up 8-6. to six. That scoreboard's up there. It's tough to hit. Not too many bodies along the back line for the Beacons. Easy pickings. Gibbs was the only one back there. Had to defend the full length of the court. Wellesley back within one eight to seven. The serve from Mata. Reese, that one had the height of the scoreboard but was in front of it. Reese picks up the kill. We are tied back up at eight. That one goes long. The Beacons pick another point up. Amelia Chepievska checks in for the Beacons to serve. No, it's Maslak on the serve. Eileen, she seemed to come in for that one. The ball went over her head. Kianko made a late run for it. Couldn't get there in time. We're tied at nine. Neither team has been on much of a run. I believe the biggest lead in the set is three, and each team has been up three at some point. Megan Shoup to serve. Glances off the top of the net. The slam tipped at the net and out of bounds. Shepievska picks up the point for the Beacons 10-9. She's serve as well long. Reese, the sophomore from New Rochelle, New York, will serve. Reese keeps it alive. The Beacons get the block at the net. Looked like that was Ariana Kassengal who got the majority of it. Kianko to serve. 11-10 Beacons. Into the net. We're tied at 11. Michelle Lee will serve. Right hand, overhand serve. Gibbs sends one over that's hard to handle. The Beacons take the lead at 12 to 11. Diving dig from Hong. Wellesley ties it up at 12. Serve coming for Aristotelitis. Gibbs towards the back line. Played by Wellesley. Popped up. She's attack. Does not fall. 
Eileen, she keeps it alive again, setting it up at the net. Tear dropped over and the Beacons go up 13 to 12. Wellesley trying to even it up again. And they do. 13-13. Serve from Samantha Hong. Eileen Shee, 14-13 Beacons. Carson Commons will serve, the freshman from Ohio. Sends it long and we're tied at 14. Back and forth they go. Mata to serve. Setting up Shee. Beacons take a one point lead again. Shepievska checks in. Maslak will serve. And the Beacons take a two point lead. The first time we've had any sort of two point lead in a while, pretty much since we got into double digits. Hong plays it over. She sends it backwards. Gibbs sh sends it over her shoulder. And Reese sends it to the floor to bring Wellesley back within one. Megan Shoup will serve. That one is sent long, and we are tied again at 16. So the Beacons had a two-point lead, which the way this has gone seemed insurmountable. Shoot to serve. Lee the attack. The Beacons go up one again, 17-16. It came down to the final points in the first set, 25-23. We may see something similar here, 17-16. Beacons deflects off the net. It threw off Yasmin Reese. And that makes it 18-16. 19-16 now. Beacons by three. Did that stay in? Yes, it did. 20 to 16 beacons. And a timeout is called by Wellesley. Beacons looking to even it up at one set apiece. We'll be back after this here on Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. Division three allows you to give yourself to other things. Having that free time allows me to pursue the things that I want to pursue. Division three athletics affords students the opportunity to, you know, engage in the other interests in their campus and in their lives outside of that sport. It allows you to just be able to do everything you want to do. How it wouldn't change it for the world.
Back out of the timeout. Beacons leading 22-16. And looking to even things up at a set of peace. Stands right now, they are five points away from doing so, and they lead by four. Eileen, she will serve. She's had some trouble tonight. She's put a few balls into the net, gets this one over. Blocked at the net. Setting up Reese, who had the initial touch. That one crosses up Wellesley, and the Beacons take a 21-16 lead. We have a double touch on the Beacons. Wellesley gets one back, 21-17. We are tied at 16 apiece. So that ends a 5-0 run for UMass Boston. Reese will serve. Goes long, Beacons up to 22. Bianco will serve. He flex off the net and down. 22 to 18. Michelle Lee to serve. Trying to send it softly over the net, pushes it into the net, 22 to 19. Wellesley with a little run here. And the Beacons and Michael Houlihan are gonna call a timeout, 22 19. Wellesley leads one set to nothing. Keep it here, my name's Alex Barth, you're watching Volleyball on Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. The University of Massachusetts Boston, with its scenic oceanfront campus, easily accessible to downtown Boston is recognized as a model of excellence for urban public universities. 16 NCAA Division III sports are part of the more than 100 student organizations that create an engaging campus life in America's biggest and best college town. UMass Boston, Boston's urban public research university for the 21st century. Cheer for the stumbles. That he should have had that. And the tears that linger. For in those moments, greatness lies. There, you will find the provoked, the determined, the unified. It's in those moments that champions are born. 22 to 19 is the score back to back. Unanswered points from Wellesley has made this a little closer than the Beacons would like it. Michael Houlihan used his first timeout of the set. Each team used two timeouts in the first set. Each team has used one thus far in the second. Kept alive, setting it up near side, deflected at the net. Blocked down. One touch keeps it alive from Kiyako, but nobody can get to it a second time. Wellesley within two, 22 to 20. Michelle Lee will serve. She blasts one right down the middle. Gives the Beacons back a three to point a three point lead, 23 to 20. The serve. 
Trickling down off the net. It comes down out of bounds. Elsley gets one back. 23-20. Uh, 21 it should be. I think the scoreboard's a little late. There it is. 33-21. Gibbs with the push. She with the first touch. Little miscommunication is going to be a double touch and set point for UMass Boston here. And Wellesley will use their second timeout facing match point 24-21 here on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. Moving from Turkey, it was a rough journey for me because when you don't really speak the language that well and when you don't really fit in the crowd, it's very easy to disappear. But I decided not to give up, so, and UMass helped me. <laughs> I did receive a non-athletic scholarship upon entering uh, school. I got the presidential scholarship, which was huge for me. I think there's more opportunities for academic scholarships in Division Three. I did receive academic scholarships. Just being involved on campus, being a leader, all those things combined kind of get me recognized. It's a great experience for me. The Beacons will serve for the set, trying to even things up at one set apiece. Wellesley trying to bring this one back and force a win by two situation. Gibbs attack. That one is high, got lost behind the scoreboard. Still in play, Eileen She. Her attack's deflected at the net. Wellesley gets one back, 24-22. Beacons just need to Win one of these next two points to put it away. Hong serve is long and that will do it. We are tied at one through two sets. We will play at least four here from Clark Athletic Center. It's UMass Boston, win, Wellesley won. Keep it here on Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. UMass is very public service focused and it piqued my interest and I started doing more research on it. I'm very focused on what can I do to make the world around me a better place. My name is Lydia Grasso. I'm a junior at UMass Boston studying sociology and minoring in human rights. Because I won the Chancellor Scholarship at UMass, it allowed me to go to Cambodia. I was working at the CNU Hospital Center of Hope I was in the place of something horrible that had happened. I could either go home and kind of forget about that experience and kind of block it out, or I could do something so that things like that never happened again. UMass provides me with opportunities that I wouldn't get anywhere else and gives me a global perspective in a public setting. I definitely transformed at UMass. Take a look back at some of those highlights from the first set. We'll go over some uh, from the second set. Pardon me. We'll go over some of the numbers thus far. As you're taking a look at, at some of the moments from the second set here, so far in this match. A game-high 10 kills for Lauren Gedney. A team-high 9 for Eileen Shee. 23 assists for Michelle Lee. She has 23 of Wellesley's 24. Rachel Maslak paces the Beacons with 16. Christina Elliott has 11. They have 27 of the 28. The other one belonging to Michaela Kianko. Two blocks in that set for Wellesley. 
One for Samantha Ostenso, one for Lauren Gedney. One block for Ariana Kassengal for UMass Boston as they took that set and we are even at one. The last time the Beacons went multiple sets was back on September 30th, a three to one loss at Babson. The last time they won a match that went multiple sets was on September 23rd. When they won a three to one matchup against Western Connecticut State University. That was their second of three conference wins. Teams will flip sides for the third set. UMass Boston in the black uniforms on the left. And Wellesley with the blue uniforms and gray shorts on the right. Wellesley will serve as we get the third set started. And it now becomes a best of three. First point to the Beacons. That one goes long, point UMass, uh, point for Wellesley, pardon me. Oh no, point for UMass Boston, sorry. Deflected towards the back, Wellesley will get one back, two to one. Serve coming for Megan Shoup. She now goes over to the far side. See what the call is here. Whatever it is, it's Wesley Point. Tied it to a piece. Tapped over. Slam towards the net. Wesley picks up another one. They take their first lead of the set three to two. Goes long, ties us up at three to three. Eileen, she will serve. Into the net it goes. Four to three, Wellesley. They have now scored four of the last five points. Yasmin Reese to serve. Reese with the overhand right. Played off the side of the hand of Kianko. Beacons keep it alive. Tapped back over by Wellesley. The attack is in from Gibbs. Beacons tie it up at four. Kianko will serve. Out of bounds. 5-4 Wellesley. And a substitution for the blue. Postupaka comes back into the game. Number 23 with the pink headband in the middle. Going towards the back corner and out. Wellesley goes up by two. Their biggest lead thus far here early in set number three. Serve from Lee.
double touch and a point for the Beacons. Christina Elliott comes in to serve. Popped up and hit off one of the rafters, no call. Beacon send it back over, over the shoulder. Wesley, Eileen she takes that one right in the chin. Beacons get it over again. That's two volleys they've had that they've had to pull out of nowhere looking to make it count. Blocked down at the net. Wellesley plays it up. Nice long volley going here. Deflected at the net, kept alive. Over and out of bounds. Point Beacons. And we are tied at six. Elliott to serve. Knocked down into the net. Beacons get another one. They take the lead back. That is four lead changes thus far here in the third period. Uh, third uh, set, pardon me. Beacons get another one. They're on a 4 0 run. Eileen, she can't play that one. Case of alligator arms. Makes it 8-7, Wellesley. Tipped at the net. And it's 9-7 Beacons. Gibbs will serve. Wellesley finds a soft spot on the floor. Samantha Ostenso brings the blue back within one at nine to eight. Played backwards off the serve. Have to get it over on this one. Over the shoulder goes Kianko. There's the attack from Pastupaka, which ties us at nine. Plays it towards the back corner. Beacons looking to keep it alive. The diving attempt from Kianko, not enough to kill for Yasmin Reese. And Wellesley takes a 10 to 9 lead, their first lead in a while. And Beacons quickly even it up. As was the first Wellesley lead since they led. Six to five. They scored three of the last four. And four of the last six. Pick up another one. Makes it 11-10. Wellesley back on top. Locked down at the net. Beacons keep it alive. Eileen Shee. Softly, diagonally across. Another diagonal ball. And that hits off the scorer's table. 
Wellesley takes a 12 to 10 lead. And we have a timeout on the floor here with Wellesley leading 11 to 10 in the third set, knotted at one. Keep it here on the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. Psychology is about understanding the individual and understanding the mind. The main reason why I want to combine psychology and business degrees is because I want to understand the business decisions that are made. I'm Nurchin Chalabi. I'm from Turkey originally. I'm a senior at the five-year BA to MBA program at UMass Boston. I think in management, the biggest mistake you can make is to not listen. So I want to be able to step into a company and say, here's what you're doing now, and here's how you can improve it. I moved here when I was 16 for high school. Moving from Turkey, it was a rough journey for me because when you don't really speak the language that well, and when you don't really fit in the crowd, it's very easy to disappear. But I decided not to give up, so, and UMass helped me. <laughs> I wanted to be able to improve myself. Well, I wanted real to be- quick here, we have a chance to look at what else happened around the Little East yesterday. Beacons are the only Little East team in action today. UMass Dartmouth with the sweep of Mass Maritime, Wesleyan with the sweep of Western Connecticut, and Southern Maine pick up, picked up the sweep as well. Beacons get back within 1-12-11. Maslach serve. Wellesley puts it into the net. We're tied at 12. Maslach will serve again. Wellesley jumps back in the lead. 13-12 blue here in the third set. Each side has won one. Shoop to serve. Now one stayed in even though the Beacons backed away from it. Fourteen twelve advantage for the visitors. Trying to slam it down at the net. Eileen She. Blocked down. A play of superior size from Shepieska. Eileen, she will serve trying to even this thing up. That one stays in. Tied at 14. Two teams are very evenly matched. She's second serve. And again, contention at the net. This time it's won by Wellesley. And they take a 15-14 lead. Was Reese on the serve, sends the Beacons diving. Big time slam from the freshman Gedney. She to the floor to keep it alive. Gedney again picks up the point. Sixteen fourteen. Blocked at the net, quick recovery by Chapievska. She knocks it out of bounds. And a 3-0 run for Wellesley, 17-14 in favor of the visitor. Now 
UMass Boston had a run of four earlier in the set. That's the longest in this set so far. Blue looking to match that. And they do as that one goes out of bounds. 18-14 lead and UMass Boston will take a timeout here in the third set. Keep it right here. You're watching Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. I'm the first undergraduate alumnus to uh, lead this university. I'm very proud of that. I was literally able to transform my life because of the University of Massachusetts, and I want that for every single student that walks through the door. Something I discovered in myself is that if I have a goal, I can accomplish it. It's a well-rounded experience. At a Division III school, you primarily a student athlete, so the school is really shaped around you developing yourself as a complete individual. It helps a lot that you have a family with your team that can guide you. So 18-14 is the score here in the third set. Each team has taken one. Wellesley won the first set, 25-23. The Beacons won the second, 25-22. A diving save made by Shoup. That one stays in on the back line. It's 19-14, a 5-0 run by Wellesley. This is the most dominant either team has looked this evening. It's been very close, if you can't tell from the scores, 25-23 and 25-22. Beacons put her end to that one. They make it 19-15, trim it down to four. Kianko coming with the save, with the uh, serve, pardon me. That one goes over the back line and out. No, it stayed in. Pardon me, stayed in. And Wellesley is up to 20 here. He gets with that one back. Back down to four. Christina Elliott will serve here in the latter stages of the third set. Did that one stay in bounds? It did. And after the 5-0 run by Wellesley, the teams have traded points back and forth here. Bring us to 21-16. Molly Likes, the freshman from Oklahoma City, will get the serve. That one goes out. Wellesley within three of taking control. Likes will serve again. Substitution here for the Beacons. Alex Gibbs will serve. Blocked at the net. Was it tipped at the net? No, it wasn't. The Beacons get up to 18, back within three. Teams now trading 2-0 runs. That one goes long. 
A big point here for Wellesley. Samantha Stenso with the serve. Kept alive by UMass Boston. 23 to 19. Sarah Doyle will serve. Played awkwardly by Hong. They get it over. Gibbs with the diving save. Tipped up at the net. Pushed over into the net and down. And that makes it 24 to 19. Set point for the blue. Chance to take a two to one lead on this match. Aristotelidis, the serve. Eileen she pops it up. The setup, the slam from Maslak. Controlled, put over. Elliott tries to set it up again, blocked. Kept alive. Beacons fighting here, Eileen She fields that one off the block. Elliott sends it over. Reese for the win, yes! To make it two to one in favor of Wellesley. We will step aside here. We will come back with the fourth set. Beacons trailing two to one on Little East TV in the Beacon Broadcast Network. Don't go anywhere. Beacons on the track! Beacon, beacons on the track! My name is Tywell Hart. Beacon, beacons on the track! Being on the track and field team here is the greatest decisions I've made besides coming to UMass Boston. When you train together in that sort of intensity, you build a sort of a bond with people who are training with you, you know. It's, all, it's like a higher level of friendship. It's like teammates, it's, or you know, it's just a different level. My freshman year, I got a rookie athlete of the year. Outdoor for my sophomore year, I was the first time I went to nationals. When I jump, it's a little difficult considering I have uh, Hereditary disorder known as amblyopia. There we go. It's pretty much just a partial blindness in the left eye. The best way to describe it is if you have decent prescriptions for um, contact lenses, you take one of the lenses out and then you close, the, you put your hand over the eye with that lens. That's my vision. I rely more on my steps as opposed to my visual perception of how far away the bar is. And since I can't see out of my left eye, I have to sit on the far left hand side of the class. Hopefully coach for a few years and coach some high school kids, maybe even you know, coach on a college level as like an assistant coach and go to PA school, and then do a five-year program and try to get my loans paid back and then you know, go from there. As we come back and get ready for the fourth set, Wellesley looking to put it away. The scores thus far. First set, Wellesley 25, Beacons 23. Second set, Beacons 25, Wellesley 22. That third set, the most decisive thus far. Wellesley 25, UMass Boston 19. Taking a look at some of the numbers here through three sets. The... Game high in kills belongs to Lauren Gedney with 17. Chepievska and she each have 10 for the Beacons. 35 assists for Michelle Lee. 20 for Rachel Maslak. 13 for Christina Elliott. We had one block in that set. Belong to Darina Pastupaka. And as the teams come out, the Beacons know that they need to get done here as we take a look at some of the highlights from that third set. UMass Boston will be on the right side of your screen in the All Blacks. Wellesley will be to your left. Blue jerseys, black shorts. We get ready to go.
The Beacons had four errors to just eight kills in that third set, their worst by far in this match. They will need to improve on that number if they want to extend this to five. The first serve will be with Wellesley College. Or pardon me, it'll be with the Beacons. Rachel Maslack will serve to get things started. Her overhand is away and we are underway in the fourth set. And a quick first point for Wellesley and Yasmin Reese. It was back and forth really in that third set. Tied at 14, a 5-0 run from Wellesley was the difference. They end up winning the set by six. And Beacon's trying to answer. That one is long. Wellesley with a 2-0 lead here early. Shoops overhand serve. Reese barely kept alive. Couldn't get the third touch on it as Alex Gibbs got tied up. 3 0 Wellesley. That one stays in. Eileen She picks up the first point of the set for the Beacons. She's overhand gets over. The setup, the attack. It looks like that was Reese again. Four to one. And Reese with the serve. Near side, Gibbs is blocked at the net. Sending it away was Michelle Lee. Reese's serve is played behind the scorer's table. A six to one run to open set number three for Wellesley. The Beacons went on a six to one run to open the first set, which Wellesley ended up winning. Sent towards the back corner, stays inbound, Alex Gibbs with the kill. Serve from Birch. And the Beacons pick up three points in a row. Brings them within two. towards the floor. Wellesley crushes that run. They lead by three again. She into the net. Eight to four Wellesley. Michelle Lee to serve. Tap 
Tapped over, heading back and out of bounds off of Reese. That makes it eight to five. Or pardon me, nine four. As Michael Houlihan has a question for the official. The serve from Lee. Slam towards the back line. Diving attempt from Birch. Doesn't get there in time, and it's 10 to 4. Michael Lulian's going to use a timeout here with his team trailing by 6. In the fourth set, Wesley leads 2 to 1 and 10 to 4 in the set. Keep right here on Little East TV and the Beacon Broadcast Network. I'm the first undergraduate alumnus to celebrate the soggy shoes and the slow starts. Celebrate the lessons learned along the way. These are the wins. Not the shiny nail-biting kind. These are the last a lifetime kind. So it's Wellesley leading 10-4 out of the timeout with the serve. Will be Michelle Lee. They're trying to win this set and get out of here in four. Hit straight up at the net. Locked down, that was, looked like the freshman Gedney. That is five straight points for the blue. Lee to serve again. Under the net. Beacons get one back, it's 11-5. Christina Elliott to serve. Dangerously close to the line. I think it was out of bounds as the official on the near side in the corner. Ruled that that was the case. Makes it 11 to 6. Beach played it, pardon me, Reese played it danger, dangerously close to her own bench. Wesley able to keep it alive. Gibbs for the kill. Finds Reese. Gedney's attack is too strong for the Beacons. They return it out of bounds over the antenna on the far side. 12 to 6, Wellesley. Serve for Molly Likes. Falls in front of Reese. Makes it 12-7. Alex Gibbs will serve. Little miscommunication. Gibbs just able to get it over. Everybody had come up towards the net. Wellesley just pops it over the top to make it 13-7.
Ostenso with the serve. She comes at it a little too strong. Eileen She with the error. So we make it 14 to 7. The setup from Lee. And Reese with the slam. She's heating up. As we get into set number four. She has become more and more of a presence as the game has gone on. That is her ninth kill. Almost made a 10 with the block. Beacons try again, same spot. Blocked again. Reese keeps it alive, calls for the ball. Instead, they go to the far side. Gibbs keeps it alive, sets up for She on the near side. Eileen She finds the gap on the floor. 15 to 8. Kills a 3 0 Wellesley run. Sarah Doyle will serve. Doyle with the overhand. Double touch. First back to back points for the Beacons since points five and six. Wellesley scored four times in that span. Eileen, she rolls her head as she hits it into the net. 16-9. Aristotelitis the sir. That's going to be long. After three sets of close play, 25-23, 25-22, and 25-19, Wellesley seems to have figured things out. Of course, the broadcaster jinx makes it 17-10. But as a point of reference in the third set, when Wellesley got to 17, it took a 3-0 run, and the Beacons had already scored 14. Knocked down at the net. Somebody hit the net. The Beacons did. Point for Wells. 18-10. Megan Shoup will serve. Shoop into the net. Makes it 18-11. Eileen Shee to serve. Gedney, the freshman. Off the top of the net, nearly found the point. Trying to set up Reese. Deflected at the net by Michelle Lee, and she will pick up the kill. 19-11 in the fourth set. Wellesley leads two sets to one. Gibbs tries to go across the court. Beacons get their 12th points of the set. It's 19 to 12. Wellesley by seven. Beacons serving. Sydney Birch. Played first by Reese. The setup. Gedney. Picks it up. They haven't gone to her much. The freshman Lauren Gedney. At least not as much as one would think she does have now 20 kills through four sets. 
But they are definitely starting to go to more and more here to close this thing out. Five points away. This time they go to Michelle Lee. Gibbs with the touch to the far side. And the Beacons get one back. 20 to 13. Substitution for UMass Boston. Christina Elliott comes in to serve. Reese, the slam from Gedney. The freshman again, 21-13. And a substitution for Wellesley, Nikki Jensen into the game. Diving into it. Well, as Eileen Shee, she puts it into the net. 22 to 13. Off the serve from Molly Likes. Eileen Shee played by Reese. Out of bounds off of Rachel Maslack. It's Wellesley by 10, two points away from closing it out. The Blue have really turned it on. Here in the fourth set. This is their third run of three or more unanswered points and they have a chance to put this whole thing away right here. Likely serve. Gibbs on the far side and it was deflected by Michelle Lee saying my bad. Maybe could have let that go over her head. For match point. Instead, she gives the Beacons another serve. Gibbs. Played first by Likely to Lee. The setup and that will do it. The final kill from Dorina Pastupaka. 25-14 in the final set. Wellesley wins it three sets to one by scores of 25-23, 22-25, 25-19, and 24-14. We're going to go to a break real quick. We will come back with Beacon's head coach, Michael Houlihan. Until then, keep it here on Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. My name is Kirsten Morrison, a.k.a. Keeks. I'm a senior here at UMass. I'm in the exercise health sciences program and I play volleyball, basketball, and softball. You know, I came here for volleyball and I chose between basketball and softball and I went with basketball my freshman year to play and it's always kind of been a thing that I wanted to do is play softball my senior year and after talking with Coach Dag, she was like, yeah, come on on the team and I was like, all right. And here I am playing three sports this year. Being a beacon, uh, I don't even know if words can describe. Um, you know, coming here as a freshman, I was a little nervous and scared. But, um, you know, I walked in these doors and they all had open arms. You know, they showed me the ropes, you know, the coaching staff, the athletic staff, the chancellor, the vice chancellors. Everyone here is so welcoming and I really can't stress enough about how much this is really a second family for me here at UMass. I'm at my thousand points this year. It's amazing. I don't even think words can describe how I feel about it. It's something I've always wanted to do my whole life and doing it here with my teammates and the coaching staff here is just an unbelievable experience and I'm so happy to be able to do that. I'm doing my internship this summer at the Quincy YMCA and I really hope to be coaching in my future. The University of Massachusetts Boston. It's just minutes from downtown and the Princeton Review calls it one of the best values in the country. A nationally recognized institution of academic excellence and research, UMass Boston offers more than 150 undergraduate and graduate programs, 16 Division III sports, and more than 100 student organizations. To learn more about the opportunities waiting for you at UMass Boston, visit in person or online. UMass Boston, a research university with a teaching soul. Paris changed my life, and I got there through UMass. Those very specific seminal moments in Paris, the subway, a man in a tuxedo walked in, and a woman in a long gown. And it was stunning. It all hit me. It was, it was like a lightning bolt. There was this world of beauty and style that I wanted to be a part of. That was the beginning of the journey. And that all came through the University of Massachusetts. 
And that was really a key moment for me. That's one of those moments you never forget. 2-2 pitch, swung on and missed. Kyle Strowski from Agro, Massachusetts. I'm a senior here at UMass Boston. I'm a marketing major. Probably have to say my favorite moment was my no-hitter my freshman year. Being a freshman, especially just making a statement right away. Seeing the reactions on the seniors' faces. It was something that was uh, a lot of fun to be a part of. If you want to play and you want to compete for championship every year, you would definitely UMass Boston is a good place to come look at. And now, this one's launched right center field. That's going to win the game for the Beacons. It is down. LEC is probably best division in college D3 baseball in the country. Play against the top competition every year. I think we have a top 10 schedule in the country this year. So we're young, but we also mix in with a good group of junior college transfers. Being on a baseball team here at UMass is a good experience, great experience. Only about 2% of people can play college baseball. And one that I'll take for me for the rest of my life. Kyle Fields fires the first great scoop from Jason Show. Boston Beacons baseball team. We went 23 and 15 this year and have consistently been a leader in their conference without having a home field to play on. That will change next season. I am so happy and excited to join Boston College High School and your wonderful president to celebrate the symbol of our institution's friendship as well as our shared commitment to this special neighborhood. Not only are we thrilled to be building a new ballpark with our neighboring teams and for all of our neighboring teams, but we could not be happier to provide more space. It's not just for us, Father Monin. It's for the youth of Dorchester and South Boston to be able to play as well. So your field will be used by quite a few of us for so many wonderful things. But my hope is that the sound of the bat that's so irresistible to us at Fenway Park. We'll echo it through this field and we'll call further together the academic communities of BCI and the UNB. All right, welcome back. And look at the final numbers part uh, pardon the throat of the break there is Coach Hulahan actually not available post game, but a look at the final numbers here. And you can see it was the aces that were advantage of the Beacons, but they were not able to take this one. Most of those aces coming in the second set, which they did win 25 to 22. Besides that, pretty even as we went four sets, three highly contested. The fourth one, 25-14, not as much. The individual leaders in this one, Laura Gedney, the freshman, we talked about her before the game. Uh, she was the key for Wellesley, who improves to 12-3. and three. Beacons fall to 7-11. and 11. Not a lot of blocks in this one. We expected to see a little more of that, given the height on both teams, but relatively low numbers. All right, before we head out of here, a couple people we want to extend our thanks to. Anthony Searles, Alyssa Fugel, and Soto. Just just Soto. It's like Ronaldo or, uh, I don't know, Shakespeare. Just No, he had a first name. I'm an idiot. Um, You know what I'm talking about here. Uh, Josh Ruffin on the replay, Alyssa DePippo, Cassie Murphy, and Caitlin Morse operating the camera. Seth, our executive producer, who you also heard doing PA tonight. Uh, my name is Alex Barr. Thanks again for tuning in the final one more time. Wesley, three sets to one, 25-23, 22-25, 25-19, and 25-14. The blue improved to 12-3. and three. The beacons fall to 7-11. and 11. We will see you again next uh, next week, when the Plymouth State Panthers come, that's a 6 o'clock start. For more info on that, beaconsathletics.com or at UMass Beacons on Twitter. My name is Alex Parr. Thanks for tuning in to this presentation of the Beacon Broadcast Network and Little East TV. We'll see you next time. Have a good weekend, everybody.